Hi, my name is Leslie Wall. I'm a lead instructor trainer with Merrifew at the head office corporate center. I have my daughter here, Taya, to help me out with the series. We're gonna be discussing hard to target areas of the body or areas of the body that we maybe neglect. And today's subject are the pelvic floor muscles. Pelvic floor muscles are hard to figure out and or connect with because they're not visual to the eye and us instructors can't really tell whether or not people are connecting. So this is why we're doing this segment. I'm gonna have my daughter actually sit down onto the ball while I talk about where the pelvic floor muscles are. So she's sitting on an unstable ball and basically what I'm doing is to try and give her contact points from her pubic bone to her tailbone to her two sitting bones or in anatomical terms, her pubic symphysis, her coccyx, and her two ischial tuberosities. The reason for that is because that's where the pelvic floor muscles are. And they actually dome very much in a bowl-like shape, or a sling or a hammock, and that's how we often explain them. So as she sits on the ball, what the ball is doing is doming up inside the pelvis to give her just a little bit more proprioceptive feedback. The tail wiggles around on the ball a little bit. That will give her an idea of those four bony landmarks that I'm talking about. Okay, good. Now let's keep the ball still. So now as she tries to sit up as tall as she can, and she's doing a great job of that, what I want her to try to do is actually allow the pelvic floor muscles to release and go into the ball as she takes a breath in. And then when you exhale, you actually want to try to pull up through the center and up inside. Inhale, you're going to let the release of the pelvic floor muscles into the ball and then as you exhale you're going to gently draw them up and inside just keep going like so so the reason why we want to try to activate the pelvic floor muscles is because they aid us in stabilizing the lumbo pelvic region which is really big in a lot of our Merrithew uh, courses and or workshops However, you need to understand that what we're doing today is we're just separating the pelvic floor muscles when normally in any of our workshop or education courses, we're grouping them together with a, other groups of muscles such as the transversus and multifidus, okay? Let's try another exercise just to try to help engage these muscles a little bit more. So let's lie down onto your back. What I want you to do, Taya, is put your hands behind your head. Great, excellent. So what I want you to do is just lift the elbows up just that little bit and she's going to try to have her knees and feet open in that hip distance and her neutral spine. No movement in the pelvis, no movement in the spine. She's going to take a nice big breath in, releasing the pelvic floor muscles and then when you exhale I want you to feel like as if you're narrowing and drawing up and just keep going like so. Imagery cues are really awesome to try to activate the pelvic floor. So a great image could be, imagine that your torso is a building, okay, and your pelvic floor muscles are an internal elevator. So as you inhale, you're going to let that elevator go all the way down to the basement, and then as you exhale, just lifting the internal elevator to about the second or third floor of your building. Just keep going. You want to ensure that the client is not tightening their buttocks or tightening their legs or having any movement or change in their body because that's an indicator that they're using bigger muscles and not isolating the pelvic floor. All right, let's try another exercise, Taya. So let's lie onto your side. I'm going to add in the ball just to get a little bit of adductor connection because the adductors tend to help engage the pelvic floor. So she's going to align nice and straight to the back of the mat. Her bottom leg is going to be nice and straight. Her top leg is going to come into a bent hip position and bent knee position. And she's going to stay nice and active with lots of integrity through the spine. She's going to take that nice big full breath. And then when you exhale, lightly press into the ball with your top leg and feel that adductor, but also pelvic floor and keep doing so. Breath is a big important part in this. If you are holding your breath, that will really affect you connecting deep into this group of muscles. So nice big full inhalation. And then as you exhale, lightly press into the ball to feel that adductor, but then pelvic floor drawing up and in. Good, one more time. Perfect, and exhale to press down. All right, last exercise. I'm gonna get her to come up onto all four hands and knees. Good, she's gonna align herself in a nice straight spine, okay, as neutral as she can get. Her shoulders are gonna be on top of her hands, her knees are gonna be underneath her hips. What we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the weight back, folding at the hip, trying to keep the spine as neutral as 
as possible. And then she's gonna exhale, transfer that weight back just to the hands and knees again, good. When she inhales, I want her to envision the sitting bones and the pubic uh, symphysis and coccyx spreading apart. So inhale, transfer the weight back, feel those bones almost trying to separate. Then as you exhale, feel them narrow and draw together, which should hopefully help encourage the engagement. Inhale to sit back, staying nice and straight, and exhaling to pull forward. Good, one last time. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the mouth. Good job, and then you can just sit down. Thank you so much. This was talking about the pelvic floor muscles. What I want you to be mindful of is if you have any injuries or any dysfunction in that area, you do need to see a therapist. We are discussing healthy individuals today and be mindful also that we are separating this group of muscles just to try to help you engage them a little bit better. But in all of our courses, we actually integrate them all with other muscle groups. I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.